Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create those flashing object or body effects using the rotoscope and some strobe color effects in Adobe After Effects. So before we begin this tutorial, make sure you leave a like on it below if you're enjoying these videos, and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. Also, you can go follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with me and behind the scenes live streams and more. So beginning this effect, I've got this skateboard clip in the project media bin, and I'll just click and drag it onto the timeline to create a new composition for us to work with. Now to create this effect, let's pick out a place where we want the object to flash. So I'll do right here when the skater is jumping over this bench. Now since we're creating a layered composition, we want to keep this original clip intact for us to stack the flashes and cutouts onto. So I'm going to Command C and Command V to duplicate that layer. You could right click, duplicate, paste it, however you want to get it on there twice. So now we have it stacked on top of each other and on the second layer is where we want to have a cutout going on. So if we go to the top menu in our toolbar and select the Roto Brush tool, this will allow us to easily select and track out an object over multiple frames without having to do lots of tedious hand cutting out work like you would in Photoshop or Premiere. So double click on your layer to make sure that you're working in the layer window and you should see the Roto Brush cursor appear. It's this green little cursor. Now you can click and paint in your object and you don't have to do too much work and After Effects will automatically understand what you're trying to do. As you can see, this pink highlight is what we've selected. Now, depending on the clip that you're working with, results may vary. This is a really good example of an easy clip to work with. We've got a clear blue sky and a solid contrasted subject in front of it. But you can see the skateboard is a little bit harder to maintain because it kind of blends in with all these cars in the background. And what you can do is go through and just place a dot there and see if After Effects can pick it up. And don't worry if you go too far because once you're done selecting your objects, as you can see, it's got a little bit of this area between the skateboard truck and his shoe. And when you hold Alt or Option on the keyboard, you can see the cursor turn from green to red. And once it's red, you can tell After Effects what portion of the object that you're not trying to highlight. So you can give it some more information to work with and remove those areas that it overreached on. So go back and forth between don't do that After Effects and go ahead and do that After Effects until you get a good selection. And remember, you can also adjust the brush size that you're working with by opening up the brush panel in the Windows menu and you can use a larger brush if that helps you rotoscope larger or smaller sections. So take as much time as you need. You can get as perfect as a selection as you want and you can zoom in and really go back and forth until you're happy. And once you have your starting selection, you see this little area on the timeline where it has the back and forth grid. That will allow you to track your subject back and forth however many frames you stretch this out to. So one thing we can do since it's really not going to work well if we try to track the whole entire clip, the information changes over time, is before we start freezing, let's crop in the clip to only the moment that we want it to be flashing. So I'll do this short brief moment here where the guy is jumping up and that helps me work in a bit more precise and less prone to error way. So now when I press freeze, there's only 37 frames, exactly the portion that I want to be flashing for us to go through. And you can see as long as we gave After Effects a good amount of information, the clip is staying pretty on point we lost a little bit of the skateboard there at the end, but results may vary. You can play around with it. And especially if you're doing quick flashing effects, sometimes you don't need the most perfect selection for every single frame. So now that you have your clip selected out and rotoscoped through each frame, you can switch from the layer back to the composition menu. And if you wanna make sure that you have everything, you can hide the visibility of your other layer. And you can see this is what I have, a clean, pretty clean cutout of the skater. If I really wanted to fix that, I could go back to the layer, unfreeze the layer, and give After Effects some more information, like no, I didn't want that area. And if you wanted, you could highlight some more information to give After Effects an easier job. So once you do that, you can go press freeze again. It'll go back through and reanalyze the data with that new information you gave it and hopefully fix any issues that you were having. And you can go back and forth and 
try to be as perfect as you want. Now once you're happy with your selection, you can move away from the layer menu back to the composition menu. If you want, you can minimize your skateboard clip to see what you've actually got. And I've got a pretty good clip. You can also go back, feather, expand the edge outward or inward if you want to do that. And then let's add our color and strobe effects. At this point, you basically have a copy of the object and you can do anything you want with it. So you have a whole plethora of these different effects that you could play around with that could make a ton of cool different effects. But for that flashing color, let's go to stylize and let's do strobe light. I have tutorials about this in Premiere. It works the exact same way. The strobe duration and period is how many flashes on for every amount of seconds. So we'll do 0.1 and 0.2 for a really quick flash. And by default, it's set to white on copy. You could also make it blend with the layer, like set it to add or multiply, whatever you want. But I'll keep it on copy. And when I press play, you'll see that we have a white flashing strobe. Now, if we wanted to add color to it, like I did in the intro, we can add some keyframes to the strobe color. So if I click this keyframe icon, we could start at white, but then I can move to a bright red, and then I could move to a blue, and you could just play around with different color combinations, and it got a cool flashing effect. Another thing you can do is right click on the layer and play around with the blending mode of how it blends with the clip underneath. So I could set that to something like color dodge for another interesting bright effect. But basically, anything will look pretty cool. And you see, even though the selection wasn't 100% perfect, it still looks visually interesting. So you could stack up as many cutout layers on top of the clip as you want and give it a try on projects of your own. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below, subscribe to the channel and check out my After Effects playlist for more After Effects videos. And follow me on social media at Justin Show. I hope to connect with you guys more on there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.